compare the relative exhaust efficiencies of a hurricane turbine vent against a typical jack roof on a simulated factory with one large entrance. A variable speed blower is located on the right and the factory on the left. At the entrance of the factory, an anemometer is used to show the rate and the direction of air flow. From this angle, one can see clearly the jack roof structure on top of the factory. This is the first experiment to be conducted. Again, from the other side, one can see the jack roof structure. Uh, the exhaust, the blower will now be turned on and one will see which direction the anemometer turns to see whether the jack roof is either exhausting air or actually backdrafting and taking air in. The blower has been turned on and one can see clearly the blades now of the anemometer are starting to turn. It's turning, the blades are turning anti-clockwise and this is indicating that the jack roof is actually backdrafting with the wind hitting it directly front on. It's actually taking air in through the lever blades and trying to exhaust it out the door of the factory. This is the opposite to what one requires in, under good ventilation where obviously you're trying to exhaust the hot air from the factory. Again, more clearly one can still see the, the backdrafting effect and we just go in very carefully on the blades of the anemometer. The air is actually being forced out the door of the factory the opposite to what one requires in good ventilation. The jack roof structure has now been removed and in its place a, a uh, miniature model of the hurricane turbine ventilator has been placed on top. The same experiment will now occur, the blower will be turned on to maximum speed and we'll see what happens to the airflow, whether the air goes in or out of the door of the, of the factory. We'll start with the wind speed at low velocity and then gradually move it up to a higher velocity and watch the reaction of the blades. low wind speed one can clearly see the blades turning in a clockwise direction indicating that the ventilator is in fact acting as a true ventilator it's taking air from the factory and replacement air is being pulled in through the door to, re to replace the air taken out. Wind speed now increased to maximum. It can be clearly seen the exhaust rate is also proportionally increasing. So this very simple experiment clearly shows that the Hurricane ventilator will be multi-directional. Multi it will not matter which direction the wind hits it because of the shape of the ventilator. There is no such thing as one face to it. 
So regardless of the direction of the wind, it is going to act as a true ventilator, remove the hot air from a factory and allow replacement air to come in through the doorways and windows. In the case of the jack roof, the experiment also very clearly shows that where that wind force is hitting directly onto the face at 90 degrees onto that jack roof, then the jack roof will back draft. There may be other angles where the jack roof, where the wind hits the jack roof from the side direction where it can act more as a ventilator. But that's not the purpose of this experiment, it is to show that, w that there are angles of the wind where a jack roof will backdraft and not be effective in cooling a factory.